guys. Um, I'm in bits at the moment because I just heard the news that uh, a really, really good friend of mine has died. She's had cancer. She was going in for chemo. And they were starting chemo, I think this Thursday. So I'm gonna be a bit of radio silence because this woman was a really, really dear friend. She always inspired and encouraged me in doing what I was doing against the odds, creating a business out of black wool, which is rubbish to most people, and cheap. And writing my book, she was a backbone of my encouragement. I was just fencing the field here because uh, a lamb got tangled in a bit of electric fence because the fence was down, so it was shorting. So I was doing that. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, Bridget, give me some sort of sign that I'm doing the right thing. She has a family and children, wonderful children who she loved dearly. So it's not like I'm the only person grieving at the moment. And a lovely husband. But I said, Bridget, give me a fucking sign that I'm on the right track, that I'm doing something. <laughs> And the phone rang <laughs> and a farmer I know <laughs> asked me to go and help them. <laughs> so I guess I'm here supposed to be helping farmers, but it is so heart wrenching to lose a really, really good, precious friend who really was part of the backbone of my strength. So, everybody loses somebody. You, everybody will. Hey, they say, <laughs> the only real things in life are death and taxes. <laughs> and birth, I suppose. So, I'm making my way across the field to go and get my pickup. To go and help tow this farmer who is stuck in a field. <laughs> so... I'll go ahead. There's a service for my friend this coming Thursday. She's an amazing woman and she donated her body to science. But the same day as her memorial during the day, I'm giving a talk that night or helping a discussion after the documentary film that was filmed here, a lot of it on the farm and other farms around the southeast of Ireland. I'm not going to cancel that. I'm gonna go. She would probably say, go. <laughs> and I think, as soon as I ask the question, should I just give up what I'm doing? And the phone rang and a farmer asked for help. I guess that's what I'm here for, is to help farmers. <laughs> All those quiet videos or aspects of videos that you've seen over the last few months I filmed for my friend Bridget and would WhatsApp them to her. And she loved them because she was stuck in bed or in hospital or something. I better go because there's a farmer who needs me and I gotta go pull him out of the field. <laughs>